Well, hello, folks, and welcome to James Morris World Traveler. Now, in this video review, I want to talk about my stay at Kinley House hostel on my last few days in Dublin, Ireland. I stayed here on from June 13th to June 15th, 2023. This place is located about 10 minutes or so southwest from O'Connell Bridge in central Dublin. Now, before our I fully get into the actual review of the hostel. I want to quickly tell you what happened in regards to uh, before I even arrived at this hostel. And so I received an email about 24 hours earlier, uh, in fact, longer than that, where I was still in my first hostel in Dublin, Ireland here. Now I looked at my email about 30 to 35 hours after I received this email and I'm looking at this email I'm like oh what the heck I received an email from this hostel now all my other hostels in uh, in London as well as this hostel in Dublin didn't charge me when I got into the destination because they had pre-charged me about a week after within the last week of when I pre-booked the hostels they had charged me that last week after I did the pre-booking of these hostels so this is this hostel only sent me an email about 24 to 35 hours prior i looked this at this email after all of this back and forth about what happened with my email and the confirmation um, of my reservation they canceled on me because of this 24-hour limitation so i had to basically after a lot of frustration and anger toward this situation i'm like Okay, just send me the email. I will rebook. I e rebooked for the same uh, level of hostel uh, place that I stayed in. Now, it was a, an eight-bed dorm room, mixed dorm room. Now, so I arrived here on the 13th in the afternoon after doing a couple different places before I came to this hostel. I wanted to do a few places, so I did. Then I came to this hostel, checked in with my passport, and they had my reservation on file, the new one. And they gave me a key card. And I did have uh, included in this was breakfast. Now I'll get into that in just a few moments because that breakfast was something I want to talk about briefly, but in thorough detail. Well, kind of thorough but detail. Anyway, so I was on located on the third floor which they seem to always seem to put me with those hostels uh, uh the bookings that i always do always seem to be on the top floor for these style of hostel uh rooms and when i'm going up the stairs i swear to god it was leaning to the left toward the railing and i felt like i was on a boat going up those stairs i'm like jesus it seems like it was leaning to the left i swear to god the way they built these stairs and when i went up to the top of the stairs on the top floor i noticed one thing the railing was actually coming out of the wall a little bit so i was kind of nervous to push on the on the handle of the railing i'll show a picture on here what i'm talking about now it was a very basic uh, uh room nothing major nothing terrible I met, uh, when I first got in there, I met uh, a lady from Canada, as well as an English guy who's from Liverpool, who works in Dublin quite a bit. So I guess he stays there quite a bit. So I went with this guy to get some food later on in that evening, where he's like, yeah, let's go to Liddell. It's a place called Liddell, L-I-D-L. It's a little grocery store, about five or 10 minute walk from the hostel, which again, also is conveniently located on the hop on hop off bus. Cause I had noticed a couple days earlier, which I will mention now 
It was literally located right on that roadway where the bus goes. Now, that's how I actually found this hostel before I actually ended up going to the hostel because I'm like, whoa, look, there's the hostel. I just see now. Awesome. So now I know that the, hop, the, the bus hop for hop and hop off is located right there. There's a stop right down the road, like a minute. So awesome. Now, again, to continue on, I went to the, I went to the Slidell, bought myself a pizza and a few drinks and a couple other snacks for like 15 to 20 dollars euro 15 to 20 euros not bad I had myself a pizza now going on to breakfast and having something to eat when you're there you can there's a full kitchen with a stove a microwave they have a milk machine for coffee and with coffee as well you can have coffee and all that stuff so you have a mix of things to have during the day or evening if you don't have breakfast right away now for breakfast though this is the weird thing absolutely terrible breakfast literally the only thing they serve you for breakfast uh, was uh, bread cereal jam milk and coffee that's for the most part what you have for breakfast this for breakfast, not breakfast, this. <laughs> uh, for breakfast. And so it's very, very, very generic, very basic. The worst place of all the hostels that I've stayed in for breakfast. And I, I think that's why they also include it. Now, anyway, that said, you can go and get that anything from that Liddell. And you can cook your stuff there for evening dinner because you don't have anything to eat. You can go there or you, there's restaurants conveniently located nearby. So, that said, to finish this off, the, the, okay, one more thing I do should mention is there is bathrooms at the top of the stairs. Again, this might be for other areas as well, but on the top floor, on the right, there's a door. The bathrooms are located just inside the doors for the men's, and I believe the ladies were just at the top of the stairs for ladies' bathroom. Basic two shower, two bath, uh, bathroom stalls, on in the in the bathrooms very basic and the, and the sinks are very small though I one thing I noticed was these sinks were very very small that said again overall I would not come back here again first of all for terrible breakfast the if you ever do a review on like, for example TripAdvisor they never respond to anything it's terrible it, it, I bet you it's been like four plus years from their last uh, review uh, responses, it's just not something that I would go back to again, let's say that at least. Again, this is a little bit longer than I wanted for a review, but I guess at the end of the day, it is what it is. Uh, I probably wouldn't come back here just for that screw up with my reservations and that they didn't pre-do everything beforehand like the rest of the places that I've been to. I would not probably could not come back here i'd probably book somewhere else uh, or stay back at the same hostel i stayed at before so at the end of the day i would say don't come here i mean it was an okay hostel but i would give it two thumbs down just for the screw-ups with the 24-hour notification to respond to a review or to their emails and expecting everybody to be automatically just responding instantaneously so and then on top of that let me say one more thing about that rail that rail like I said was coming out of the wall now that's dangerous and the fact that that stairs are leaning terrible I feel like you could fall so those few things alone the the cereal breakfast breakfast with coffee and very few things terrible absolutely terrible compared to the other resort uh, they always say resorts the other hostels that I've stayed in are so much better that way so two thumbs down honestly one thumb up for a couple things uh, on the couple positives being a nice place for basic stuff but no again I'm just kind of rambling on now so uh, I wouldn't recommend this hostel go to another hostel 
So at the end of the day, thank you very much for listening to this review. I hope that helps you at least in some way. Otherwise, have a good day. Until the next time, we'll see you in the next video.